What up, peeps and peepettes? Marbtron back today with another episode of Beginner's Guide to Destiny 2. And today we're going to go over faction rallies. It's a thing that has started up again today uh, for all platforms. It's kind of neat. It's very cool, actually. Um, the three factions from Destiny 1, Future War Cult, Dead Orbit, and New Monarchy fly their banners once a month in Destiny 2 and your guardians are able to represent them and get some pretty cool loot. So, um, the, very, the way that it works is you go to the tower, you have to talk to every one of the factions, they're going to give you some spiel about how their faction is the best and blah de blah de blah I'm just going to talk over them right now because I've heard it six times now. Um, but I will show you the loot from every single, uh, every single faction for every single class. As far as the gear goes, it will take a quick look at what each faction is going to give us this month. So this is the Warlock for Dead Orbit. That is all the gear for the Warlock Dead Orbit. Dead Orbit with all their stuff. Um, it's a modified version of the stuff you get from the EDZ. Uh, usually there's a couple different tweaks here and there, other than, you know, the coloration and the faction emblem all over the gear. Um, I think the Warlock stuff for Dead Orbit looks pretty cool. Um, my personal favorite for everybody so far has been New Monarchy, but that's right, not neither here nor there. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at the weapons. Um, now, some of these weapons I did review in the past um, for the first faction rally on consoles, so you definitely check those out. Um, they'll be in the Destiny 2 playlist you can click through them. Um, so the new the new additions for this month. There's this escape velocity SMG, which so far every faction now has an SMG that has high caliber rounds at 900 RPM. Um, this one is kinetic from Dead Orbit. It looks really freaking cool, um, and it has grave robber. So melee kills reload a portion of the magazine. It's going to be deadly in crucible um, and very niche in. PvE. Uh, it looks really freaking awesome, though. Um, but it's got it's got decent amount of range. The handling is just all well, really good, and it's got lightweight frames, so you're going to move faster with weapon equipped. Kind of what you want for an SMG. Uh, just kinetic. Now, this Haunted Earth Scout Rifle was the prize weapon that Dead Orbit got for winning um, the faction rally the first time around. It is kind of a hot pile of garbage. Um, I'll just leave it at that. I have a video on it um, reviewing the weapon from uh, the first faction rally. So this is another new weapon, the Guiding Star, one I'm actually excited to try out and use. Um, it is a 720 RPM kinetic auto rifle that is 58 in the mag, has deeper, uh, I'm sorry, rapid fire frame. So deeper ammo reserves, slightly faster reload speed in the magazine. That magazine is empty, which is extremely noticeable. It's not slightly faster, it's actually considerably faster. Um, it's got a Model 8 Red and an IS-2 Classic Scope. I'd probably go for the Model 8 Red because of that increased range. It's also got high caliber rounds and a pended magazine. Uh, so you do lose a bit of the 58 switching to high caliber rounds, but high caliber rounds not only increase the range, which is what you want, but they also stagger targets, so you want you want that. It doesn't matter how many bullets you lose in the mag, you want high cal rounds. And then it's got moving target, increased movement speed, and target acquisition. When moving while aiming down sights, this thing I'm going to assume right now is going to be a beast in the Crucible. Uh, we'll have to check it out, though. Watch for a video on that weapon later on. Um, the 11th Hour, I didn't really like it on console. I'll give it another try on PC, if I get it. Um, I'm not going to... I don't have all the time in the world to farm three characters, but we'll see what happens. And the three graves, pulse rifle, uh, it's a hot pile of garbage. Um, so if you get this, don't be too excited. At least it was on PC, I mean on console. It was a hot pile of garbage on console. It might be better on PC, who knows. Uh, but now we're going to leave, we're going to go talk to Future War Cult, which is right above Dead Orbit here. Derp -a -derp -derp -a -doo. And this might be a longer episode, uh, kind of going over everything about the Faction Rally. Um, 
if you like the shorter episodes, I apologize, but there's a lot to go over for faction rallies to let you guys know what needs to be done. Um, so we're going to take a look at the gear you can get from Future War Cult on the Warlock. I don't like the way it looks personally. You might like the way it looks, but I, I don't. Um, yeah. So this grenade launcher is new, um, I believe. It's got Rampage, which is... That might be really crispy on a grenade launcher. Yeah, um, a heavy weapon with Rampage. Hmm. Remote detonation, slayer, fires a slur grenade projectile that bounces and detonates on trigger release. Eh. Nah, I, I, I don't like that perk myself. And implosion rounds. Travel faster and have a controlled explosion. Eh. Basically, you want blast radius as far as high up as you can go. Um, but I don't like remote detonation. I don't know if that grenade launcher is going to be good. Uh, let's see here, a 900 RPM submachine gun that is a energy weapon that has both high caliber rounds and tap the trigger and has a torch HS3 medium zoom scope that increases its range a buttload and a half. Um, this thing might be a little bit overpowered. Um, it also has phase magazine, which almost doubles its impact, reduces its rate of fire, but coupled with this scope and that impact and tap the trigger, you might might you might not want to have high caliber rounds. I don't know. I'll have to give it a try if I if I get this thing. Uh, the sniper is a sniper, so it's it's okay. Um, Pleiades Corrector is a mini Mita multi tool. Um, it has lightweight frame. It has decent scopes. It has high caliber rounds, and it has rampage. So, in my opinion, actually, I mean, you don't have the third eye being able to have radar when looking down sights. But you have Rampage. I think this thing actually has a higher damage or DPS potential than Mida. Um, the reload is also super quick, just like Mida's. It's a little bit slower than Mida, but it, it, yeah, I mean, it's it's like what the Mida multi-tool should be. You know, this is basically the legendary counterpart of a Mida. Um, so coupling that with like better devils in your kinetic, Muy Fuego. Uh, the number, I actually have gotten this twice now uh, from the Cade 6 stashes. A very good auto rifle, extremely potent in Crucible. Um, it's got this neat here thing called High Impact Reserve, so rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. Uh, it's got extended mag or ricochet rounds. I personally use ricochet rounds on it because it greatly increases the reload speed, gives you more stability, and more range. Um, plus, I mean... Uh, it, the ricocheting itself is pretty pointless, but the increase to stats that you get over the extended mag, worth. Totally worth. And then it's got the Flash HS5 medium zoom scope, which is a lot better than the Candle PS scope. Um, it highlights targets, it's got a red dot sight, it increases the range quite considerably, totally worth. And this weapon's recoil pattern is predictably vertical. Um, there's not much recoil to that weapon at all. Um, and then we got True Prophecy, which is kind of like the Better Devils, um, except instead of having the rounds explode on impact, it's about a half a second before they explode. I don't really see the point to this hand cannon. I didn't really like it. It is a very high impact hand cannon. Um... I didn't like it on console. I'll give it another try on PC if I manage to get it. But we're going to go take a look at um, New Monarchy and see what that stuff is like. So and you've seen the, the, the victory weapons at the very bottom, the prize weapons, if the factions win. Um, so the way that a faction wins is Bungie takes uh, about you know a couple hours after this week will... week in Destiny 2, in quotation marks, will expire, so after November 13th, a tally will be made of all of the token turn-ins that each faction got across all platforms, so PS4, Xbox One, and PC. 
and a winner will be declared. Last time it was Dead Orbit, and we got to purchase the prize weapon from Dead Orbit. Now, if your guardian was pledged to Dead Orbit, you got to buy the weapon for a thousand to Glimmer. If your guardian was not pledged to Dead Orbit, you could have purchased it for fifty thousand Glimmer. But if you have one, if you have three characters and you pledge a, a, a character to each faction, you can buy it for a thousand, no matter what. You just have to switch to a different character. New monarchy believes so, and this this month's faction stuff isn't that great. They're all power weapons. Um, I'm not really excited about any of them. I mean, Future War Cult has a fusion rifle. But it's not going to be better than um, a fusion rifle that you can just easily get from other sources. This is the new Monarchy Warlock set. Looks pretty good. All I, I personally like all of the new Monarchy stuff. Um, I think the Warlock set is better from Dead Orbit, personally. Um, but all of new Monarchy stuff is very lavish. You know, the, the maroon with silver, chrome, and gold mixed into it. Um, and their emblem is white. So, their shaders are really good. Their weapons are okay. Um, last time, we were able to get this sidearm as their prize. I, I, and yeah, I wasn't too, wasn't too thrilled with it. Um, so, they have a couple different things here. This They have the sniper rifle. Sniper rifles are kind of in a bad spot right now in Destiny 2. So, if you get it, I mean, play with it. I'm not a sniper myself. Um, I, I cannot stand sitting still and aiming, aiming down a corridor. Uh, some people find success in it. I just don't find it fun. Um, now, this, this hand cannon is new. It is an energy-based hand cannon. It's got adaptive frame, so it's kind of like a, just an all-around weapon. Um... It's got some good scopes on it. Personally, the crossfire scope is my favorite out of the three. Uh, it's got alloy mag or armor-piercing rounds, which increases range. So you'll definitely want to go with armor-piercing rounds if you get this thing. Um, and then it's got ambitious assassin, which could be interesting in uh, PVE. You'll notice it a lot more than Crucible. Um, however, since it is a decent impact hand cannon, you might get an extra round or two or three in it in Crucible. You might get up to four or five extra rounds in this in the mag in this thing in uh, PVE land, especially if you're one shot headshotting a bunch of smaller things like dregs. Um, yeah, pretty pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Um, not really interested in the sidearm. We'll take a look at it though. It's got Suros rapid fire frame, full auto, deeper ammo reserves, slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. It's got high caliber rounds. Which is kind of neat. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just not. I'm not really a sidearm fan. Um, I'd rather use an SMG than a sidearm. But it's got snapshot sights. But on PC, snapshot doesn't do you any good because it's better to hip fire a sidearm, um, and especially since you're going to be up in somebody's grill when using a sidearm. Console that might be good. Um, and then, you know, it's got whatever scopes on it. Don't really matter, though. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll skip this one for now. We're going to go to this one, the Royal Dispensation. This is their 900 RPM, high caliber round, Grave Robber, Adaptive Frame, SMG. Basically, it's the same thing that Dead Orbit has, except this is energy-based. Dead Orbit's is kinetic. Um, and then we've got... We'll skip Song of Justice again. The Restoration 8. Um, I didn't like this auto rifle on console. Um, it's got quick draw, which... Eh, eh, eh. I mean, in Crucible, if you have to change weapons during a firefight, you're going to lose that firefight. Um, I mean, you have less of a chance to lose it with a quick draw, but... Mm, kind of a, a bad perk for D2, to be honest with you. Um, it just didn't... It, it felt like it was lacking in a lot of places on console, and I don't imagine it'll be any different on PC. There you have it. So, as far as these two scout rifles op being offered, they are both kinetic. Where'd the other one go? 
Where did it, where did it go? Um. Okay, it was there, was it not? I'm not seeing things. I mean, this shotgun was something you could have gotten last time. Weird. Okay, so this shotgun has high caliber rounds. It's full auto. Um, it's a Suro shotgun, so it shoots a slug versus pellets. I don't. I'm not a fan of slug shotguns. I like pellet shotguns. Um, but give it a try. You might enjoy it yourself. I don't. Where did that other scout rifle go? It's right there. <laughs> it's right. You, it's, you can see it. I'm not. I'm not going crazy, right? Like it was there, and I, I said let's skip it for now, and now it's not there anymore. Um, yeah, so Song of Justice is a scout rifle you could have gotten last time. It's a 150 RPM scout rifle. It's got auto-loading holster. Eh. Uh, eh. Auto-loading holster is not that great of a perk. It's got armor-piercing rounds. Could be good. I mean, it's I wasn't super impressed with the scout rifle on console. More so just because of its slow rate of fire than anything. I mean, it hits like a truck, but... It shoots so slow. It's hard to get any use out of it. I swear that scout rifle was there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on now, uh, and we're going to explore the world, um, and you'll kind of see what the uh, what the shenanigans is about. So I'm gonna pledge this warlock to dead orbit. Uh, my titan is new monarchy, and my hunter is um, future war cult. So after you talk to all three factions, you get to pledge to one. You just go talk to him again. Hold the hit the pledge button. Hold it for I think like five seconds, and then bam, there you go. You're pledged to your faction. So we're gonna go out into the environment. And I'll kind of show you what is different during a faction rally out in the open world, and how to most effectively get reputation tokens with your faction of choice. Alrighty, so we find ourselves on Nessus, which is where the Flashpoint is for this week. Um, 
And I'm here just because uh, it was going to be the best best area to uh, get help for these public events. So, there's a new public event, which I'm doing right now, which um, it's about halfway through it. A little over halfway through uh, the faction event, uh, or the public event. So, there are four of these little capture points that spawn on the map. Um, once you capture them, you get a bunch of bonus tokens. You get one for each capture point you are um, present for. You get a faction token plus a token of whatever planet you're on for the event. Um, or, I'm sorry, Celestial Body. This isn't technically a planet. It is a centaur. There is a difference. Um, and then if you are present for all four... Um, or you just capture the fourth, I'm not sure which, we'll find out here in a second. You get a bonus of four additional. Um, in the very last one, there's like a mini-boss that pops up. Pretty sure that was just the mini-boss. But since there's multiple people here, we just completely destroyed it. Um, and you might be wondering what auto-rifle I'm using. This is the number, which you can get from Future War Cult. Ow. Let's, let's not die. And then this is the Song of Justice that you can get from New Monarchy, um, which I got both of these weapons from the Cade 6 loot stashes, uh, which I posted a video on earlier today, so you can definitely check that out if you uh, need to know where those stashes are. And see, see there? So I did the fourth one I was present for, and I got four bonus tokens. So if you do this public event, you get a total of eight, because there are four capture points... And then you get four bonus ones for the last one. Oh, and a loot chest pops up. So it's just like a regular public event of that. Oh, I got an exotic! Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so you get eight tokens for completing a heroic public event as well. Uh, so the best way to farm these things is to do heroic public events. I'm not going to go over, you know, the best way to do that. There is a video I posted a couple days ago... Um, on how to make every public event heroic. You should only check that out. It is in the uh, Beginner's Guide to Destiny 2 playlist if you haven't checked that out yet. Um, but now I'm going to show you something um, with uh, the faction rally where there's a new event sort of uh, faction rally EDZ. So every day instead of having a let's say a uh, Let's go to Winding Cove. Every day, instead of having a regular challenge thing, you know, like do three challenges in the Crucible, or do three challenges in Strikes, or do six challenges anywhere, that sort of thing, you get faction challenges. Uh, this one, Faction Rally, EDZ, destroy enemy supplies in Lost Sectors in the EDZ, in Lost Sectors of the EDZ today, if I could words correctly. Um... So basically, you have to go to Lost Sectors, and there are these little boxes that you shoot until they explode, and I'll kind of show you what those look like here. I'll just do a quick Lost Sector with you all. Um, and then, oh, you see here's, and this is what, you know, there's four. Four of those things. That's the new public event. So look for those when you're out and about. They do not show up on the map. So you see here I open the map. It does not say there's a public event going on, um, but there is, so... And they just kind of pop up sporadically. It's completely random where they pop up. And I haven't nailed down if they're on any sort of specific timer. But we're just hopping along here. And you don't get any bonus... Um, any bonus tokens for using the emblem that you get for deciding which faction your character is going to rep. You don't get any bonus tokens for using their weaponry or wearing their armor. It's just doing the things... And getting tokens. So there's there's the thing. Uh, you don't want to be too close to them. They have a, a pretty good explosion radius. See there, I almost died. So, and you want to make sure they don't die from anything else exploding. Um, the tokens are not shared, so if you're in here, if you're doing Lost Sectors with a friend, and you blow something up, even if they are with the same faction as you, um, you, you will not share the benefit from breaking the box. So, only the person that physically breaks the box themselves gets the things. So, be aware of that. In the next upcoming days, be on the lookout for uh, videos from me 
doing weapon reviews on the new weapons. Um, and if any of the old ones from PC, or I'm sorry, from console, the first month of uh, Faction Rally, if they shine any brighter on PC, I might make a quick episode of those as well, um, like SMGs and sidearms and whatnot. Um, I won't be redoing any of my old weapon reviews from console on the PC. Uh, I, I don't deem it necessary, because they're so similar. The only thing that's different is the recoil, which granted can change the way a weapon feels, but not so much to the point where a weapon would be total garbage on console and then super amazing, awesome, best thing ever on PC. Um, so, it's despite what other people might say, that's just not the case. Um, so we're, we're gonna kill this guy and we're gonna get, we'll probably get some more tokens from just opening this up too. Yeah, see so you three for just doing one. So you, you do get faction tokens for completing anything that you do. The raid, crucible, strikes, anything. Anything that you would get tokens for regularly for any other reason, you would get tokens for your faction as well. Um, so there you have it, folks. That is the faction rally stuff. So go do it. Go rep your faction. Collect that armor. It looks really cool. Collect those weapons. A lot of them are really good. Um, and have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun. Rep your faction. And uh, root, root, root for your team. But that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, I know it was a lot longer than any of my Beginner's Guide to Destiny 2 episodes. I do apologize, but there was a lot of stuff to cover, and I didn't want to make multiple episodes covering it. So if you like this one, you want to see more of this Destiny 2 Beginner's Guide series, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I know as of right now, I'm at 399 subscribers. Um, I would like to hit 400 today. I would, I would love you a long time. Uh, anyways, do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time.